Hey guys, welcome back to Raise Trains. Oh, I hope that intro worked. Because, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite movies. But, uh, I thought we'd do a little something different today. Um, getting to the point where I'm going to start putting down my carpet for the layout. I got it right here. And, uh, everything's got to come off, which is going to be not so fun. <laughs> But uh, before I did that, I wanted to kind of do a layout tour because I was looking back on my videos and I kind of, you, you guys kind of just see the outside of the layout when the trains are running because I have such big, you know, I buy all these huge rolling stock. There's only one way for it to go. And that's the outside, the outside loop. And uh, there, there's a lot going on in this layout. So I thought... We do a little layout tour before I got to pull it all up, uh, before I put it back on. <laughs> but uh, I thought part of the layout tour, uh, other than, you know, checking all the buildings out and everything and where everything's situated, uh, I have quite a lot, a few models um, on the layout. And uh, I thought we'd start with this Terminator one before I show you the rest of them. Uh, I got this at York pretty good price and uh, I'm a sucker for these these uh, smaller models <laughs> I uh, started out uh, model tractors some construction equipment um, that's kind of where I was at before I got into trains definitely as a kid and uh, whenever I see a highly detailed model of something that I like, I always try to get it. Like if I saw DeLorean from Back to the Future, I'd probably get that too. Now this might be bolted down. Let's see if there's screws here. Yeah, there's some screws here. So let me just uh, take these out and we'll uh, I'll show this thing off. <laughs> All right, I got her unscrewed here. Give you guys a close up. It's not 148 scale. I think it said 143, but that's close enough for, for what we're doing here. <laughs> Look how cool. Look how cool this looks. This cab over looks great. Um, yeah, so we're going to find a spot for this Freightliner on the layout. And I will take you guys around, show you some of the other models uh, I've got that I've had since I was a kid that I threw on the layout. I thought they would look good. We'll see uh, some of the buildings where I put them and uh, we'll get a nice get a nice layout tour in before it all gets ripped up <laughs> for construction. So yeah, let's uh, I'll go handheld here and take you guys around. All right guys. I actually uh, filmed this a few days later because I wanted to hang some stuff in the layout before I took the rest of this video. Um, I actually got this picture uh, of 4012 from Steamtown. Uh, that's the big boy. Kind of look bad. Getting some glare there. There you go. Um, yeah, 4012 is like 15 miles from my house. So if I ever got a big boy, I would definitely want it to be 4012. But yeah, I added that. Now, eventually I'm going to have Glenn Snyder display shelves here, but uh, that'll work for now. And I've got a couple more things I bought at Steamtown. Nothing very fancy, <laughs> but at least you guys won't have to look at white walls anymore. And then uh, my uh, sister-in-law, Got me this very cool Lionel clock. Uh, I might do a video on this, or at least show it running in one of my videos. Um, the train goes around <laughs> and makes sounds, and it's it's super cool. That was very nice of her to get that. And then on this wall right here, I've got four of the Glenn Snyder display shelves that are going to go up, like this weekend probably, and. Uh, I'll be able to put a lot of the clutter up there. So I'm excited to do that. So now I also cleaned the layout. I got a lot of the stuff off except for the 
a few things. So I think I'm going to go get uh, a stepladder, give you guys an aerial view of uh, what's going on here. I might even pop up in the middle of the hole here, uh, give you guys a closer look at, at some stuff. All right, guys. Feels quite small when I'm <laughs> looking at it like this, even though it's kind of not, but. So if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I've got managed to get 072 on the outside. Uh, comes very close to the wall there and there <laughs> and then right up to the edge there. But I haven't had any anything hit yet. So, you know, can a big boy swing there with its big nose? I, I know when I made the table video, people were like, no way, but I don't, I don't know. I think I can make it work. Um, so yeah, outside loops 072, inside loop is 060. And we've got uh, switches here. These are 060, I think. Or are they 072? You know, I don't even know. It's probably, <laughs> maybe they are 072. I, I don't know. And then uh, I've got another one back there. We're, we're going to go back there so you guys can see what's going on there too. But, um, and then I've got a uh, switching yard here. This is just a bunch of different, it might be 048, 036. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And it loops around, comes back here by the John Deere shop. And I've got three whisker tracks there. And I actually added more because the table, uh, I got it a lot bigger than I thought I was going to. Um, so I added one there. And then I even added more track, really just for display purposes, because nothing's gonna run there. I guess I could put a bump, uh, bump and go trolley here. It could go back and forth. And uh, so I added that too, just, just for more track. Here's the Terminator car um so yeah and then i i talked about my models um you're gonna see a bunch of these joel uh, i believe that was the brand joel construction equipment and i figured it looks cool on the layout right now because we're under construction <laughs> there's my amtrak station so i left the amtrak am fleets on there the arby's and the Power plant or above my the uh, the pop up hole there, which is which is interesting. So, and I showed this off before. Uh, this is the carpet I bought that's going to go down on the track. Everything's got to come up, which is going to be fun uh, for filming. I got, I basically have to film like three uh, video, three or four videos just at one time, so that'll give me like a month. To take everything off <laughs> so you guys can keep getting getting some content here so why don't i uh pop up through the middle and you guys can see what's going on in the back there all right guys here's a better look at the whisker tracks before i go in the middle of the table there um yeah this is cool the john deere shop is so out of scale but that's okay i guess <laughs> Um, you know, I might, that was like one of the first things I got just cause I got the ready to run or the lion chief set. I may sell this to put, cause I could fit like two Menards buildings in there, um, to make things more realistic. Cause, uh, it's up, it's upstairs under the tree right now, the John Deere lion chief train. But when it's down here, I have to put the matching, you know, I put the caboose down here. I put the flat car there. I don't know. I don't know if I want that there all the time. It's going to be a decision I make. We'll see. But yeah, here's the whisker tracks. You guys are going to see some things you haven't seen before that I'm going to make videos on. There's a new weathered car I got from uh, from York. But all right, let's uh, let's. Oh, and here's another here's another little Joel construction vehicle I've got. I got one back here too. You'll you'll see that. Uh, I got a track gang back there. All right, guys, I'm in the pop-up hole. <laughs> um, I love this thing. It makes things so easy. So, yeah, here's the, the entrance to the switching yard goes here. 
right by the Amtrak. This is where I've got my really nice flat cars with the beautiful models on them. Um, yeah, these MTH cars are probably not supposed to turn on O O36, but eh, it works. Those are some <laughs> those are some tight curves, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it goes this way into these whiskers, and then I made another one here, going past the uh, the coal mining. Uh, the coal loader. And back here are some new things you guys haven't seen. My cranes really make make it look like the layout's under construction. This is cool. I've got the track gang all the way back here. It's kind of a bummer because no one can see them. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the permanent location. I might put it on the end of this, which would shorten the track, but it's, it's better if this is seen, I think. And, uh, same with my my booby traps. I think I think I'm gonna leave it there because that's a good spot for it. it. It won't make things seem out of place. And maybe in Halloween time, I can bring it more more to the front. But yeah, this is this is it. It's certainly small. You guys know I've been buying a lot of a lot of rolling stock, and uh, I don't know. It's there's a lot going on here. But uh, you guys see I've got a big pile of stuff here. So why don't we end the video talking about uh, all the new stuff I have to improve the layout once I've got the carpet, uh, the carpet in there. All right, here's uh, this pile of stuff that you're going to see uh, me add to the layout once the carpet is, is uh, on there. I bought some Woodland Scenics trees. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I bought these early, so early when I couldn't even use them, but I thought they were cool. Oops. I got these bigger ones as well. Now this is a video you're going to see coming soon. Um, I got this off of Corey at York and, uh, I'm going to install this so I can run my, uh, one ProtoSound 2 MTH engine. But once I do that, I can buy a lot more and uh, feel good about it because I can actually run them correctly. So this will be a video that's upcoming. Um, more layout accessories. I got an elevated oil tank that's plug and play. And it's the T-Rex oil. That's pretty cool, right? Um, gonna have to find a spot for that. Um, this was the hobo shack that my wife got me at York. I don't know where the, I got to find the hobos. They're around here somewhere. Oh, they, they, they fell over. Here they are. <laughs> yeah. So here's the hobos. And you guys saw the track gang already in the back. Um, like I said, I probably want to bring that a little closer. Got some earthen bumpers. Probably going to end up here and somewhere else maybe. But uh, yeah. So that's kind of it. That's the whole layout. Uh, it's a small space for sure. But uh, I'm trying to make the most of it. <laughs> trying to make it look cool. Um, you know, is there ever going to be... There's never going to be like an engine roundhouse or a turntable. That's just, there's just not enough space for that, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, one day, uh, one day for sure. But uh, this, this is new too. You guys haven't seen this. I got this trash, this con uh, container, trash container car, excuse me. And um, I'm so pumped about this. These are hard to find from MTH. And this, this actually... Uh, I wanted these because you see these on Metro North. There's one CSX train that heads north past Poughkeepsie, past Albany. And uh, it's a CSX uh, freight train that is carrying all these trash containers. Same color. It's, they're green. 
same CSX flat cars, and they're taking them uh, out of New York City. So I'd actually like to probably grab another one of these, but yeah, they got that at Grzboski's. That was a cool find. So yeah, I think that's it. You guys can give me your input here. Um, so like I said, the carpet will be going down very soon, uh, but you guys are going to be like three or four videos behind uh, just because I got to film a bunch uh, before I take this all off because that's going to be, it's not going to be like a massive project, but it's going to be annoying. <laughs> it's going to take some time for sure. So that's kind of it. Kind of a no exciting new products in this video. No thousand dollar engines, but I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Wanted to show it off because like I said, I feel like I don't, I don't show it off very well on my videos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.